Yes, uh, hello, my name is Art Fuller. I'm the uh, project director for the CCBHC, which stands for Certified Community Behavioral Health Clinic. So this particular training is designed to serve as an introduction uh, to the grant. It is something that uh, we've been working on here at the organization for probably about the last four months or so. And uh, we've had a great deal of teamwork that's been involved in just ensuring that it's off to uh, good success and that there are also just a number of ways that a number of different departments and organizations are connecting to the promise of this particular grant here within our community. So giving you an overview, it's a two year, uh, $3.7 million grant award from the U.S. Department of Health Human Services. And so with that, we were actually given the charge by our CEO, Mr. Melvin L. Burks, uh, to put together a team. And so every employee that we bring on board, that's specifically with the CCBHC, they are actually given the charge to know the grant. It is one of the first types of positions here at Hamilton Center that actually has that as its potential, um, as its actual responsibility of knowing the grant and how the position connects to the grant. But then in addition to that, it is a way for all of our employees and team members just to see how we work collaboratively here as an organization. Um, so as part of just the beginning, the startup processes associated with the grant, we formed a team which we call our one unit. So that one unit is made up of 19 different team members, including Mr. Burks. So you have Mr. Burks, who is the business official for the grant, the authorized organizational representative. And I say those specifically just in case uh, you need to know. He's the business official and authorized organizational representative for the grant. We have three teams. One is the operationalized team led by Mark Collins, who's our chief clinical officer. We have our positions team that is led by Brock Lowe. And then my name's Art Fuller again. I'm over the government uh, coordination team. So we work together as one unit. Every single week we meet and give an update on the progress associated with the grant. But even before then, uh, leading up to the startup of the grant, you have multiple week meetings occurring every week. And as the grant is kind of getting up and rolling and we're at the beginning stages, these groups are still continuing to meet uh, on an ongoing basis just to ensure we do a good job in implementing the requirements of the grant. So this is an overview of the presentation. I'm just gonna kind of talk through a number of these areas. So giving you a background, so this is part of really trying to improve what's going on in regards to innovative ideas in supporting behavioral health and excellence in mental health. So you can see on the side, just some historical information, uh, how it was created, um, access to Medicare Act, and uh, focusing just on ways that we can just increase more care coordination for consumers as they're trying to work through uh, just different challenges of the system itself, just in terms of Medicare billing and all those things, but also just in how do you best coordinate those services, especially for those uh, that may have the highest need. So the requirements associated with the grant we have listed here. So it includes mental health services. It's always focused on patient-centered treatment. There's screenings and assessment. There's a comprehensive uh, approach to mental health and substance abuse, HIV, viral hepatitis testing. Um, and you can kind of read through here the clinical monitoring of the adverse effects of medication, uh, case management, and just the support opportunities uh, for uh, patients and consumers um, to, to receive support as they're going through different stages of just recovery, development, treatment, or uh, learning of just the options available to them in terms of getting better care. So we as a team, that one unit, 
we have specific goals that we are working towards. In the first year, some of the things that we're really excited about, we're able to fully staff a 24-hour uh, crisis uh, services, and that is a new addition, kind of an improvement. It's fully staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we are increasing the number of consumers that are going to benefit from a new type of treatment method uh, that's returning back to Hamilton Center. It's called assertive community treatment. So this is a team-based approach where you actually have a team of providers and professionals that are responsible for bringing their uh, knowledge and expertise together and providing the best type of care for the individual patients that they are and consumers uh, that they are working to support. So it's not just one person matched with one expert. There is a team of experts working together. Uh, we have a new mobile crisis unit. And so that is one thing that we really are very excited about. So in terms of in moments of crisis, what is the best type of team to send out based on the needs of that particular crisis. So in all cases, that's not always going to be the police. And so this is a new opportunity to provide a behavioral health component or perspective to how we as a society are responding in moments of crisis. So we will be working uh, very closely with law enforcement in uh, just the different ways that we approach that. So it's very timely and just very relevant with all the things that are just going on in our world here today. And then in addition to that, we are increasing access to primary care screenings for both adults and children. So this grant does impact both adults and children, and so did want to emphasize that as well. So when you're looking at year two in terms of the goals, we are decreasing uh, by a number that we have there of 10%, the amount of hospitalization, specifically for those consumers that have gone through that ACT team kind of support. Again, you have a group of people that are supporting consumers as they're working through things. And you can see we're increasing our primary screenings and just increasing the amount of consumers that have access to uh, the Access Center, which again is 24-7 uh, now that we have the grant. So those are the goals that we're working towards. And I want to highlight again that mobile crisis unit is a great kind of new addition here for our community in responding to crisis, working in partnership with uh, law enforcement and officials. So there are a total of 25 positions that are connected to the grant. They are two-year grant-funded positions. You see the project director, evaluator there, and just the number of roles here. As we implement the grant, some of these positions might shift or change, but these were the original set of positions, and so we're working within that particular budget area. So year one, the budget is a 1.754 million. Uh, the second year, uh, almost $2 million. And so we work collaboratively with our fiscal services department, just ensuring that we are expending the funds in a timely manner and that the way that we said that we were going to would end the grant itself. The thing I do want to highlight, as part of receiving the grant, we actually had to attest that we meet the national demonstration program criteria for CCBHCs. So what does that mean? That means in the staffing, are we looking at staffing that actually reflects, when that is reflective of the consumers that we serve? The availability and access to services. This basically provides services to everyone, irregardless of if they have the ability to pay or not. Um, no matter where they are located, no matter where they are coming from. But the key uh, part of it, the key leverage point that we have highlighted there is this aspect of care coordination. So how can we bring all these different services, these different opportunities to provide support for people that need it together so that they are working more collaboratively in a coordinated way? And so then that leads to the scope of services, the reporting, the data, and then what's the governance and just the community-based structure around that. So all of those go in with the National Demonstration Program requirements. So the goals that I mentioned before, year one and year two, 
those are connected in a direct way to these national demonstration program quite criteria. And so we have Appendix M listed there because we spent a great <laughs> bit of time going line by line through Appendix M. Um, so care coordination, I've already emphasized kind of like why that's an important piece. Um, and also have a copy of the presentation should you want to look at that more. With the ACT team, I've already kind of described what that is, what that acronym stands for, Assertive Community Treatment. And again, the idea is you have a group of providers that are providing support for every single consumer. It's not just kind of one expert. I've talked about the 24-hour mobile crisis unit and just the value of that in coordinating a more compassionate response in moments of crisis. Um, and not only that response, but the follow-up that goes with it. And all of these are based in evidence-based practices. So those are things where we are using what the evidence is showing. These are effective ways to improve support and uh, for our consumers. So the project summary here, and this really kind of puts it in a big picture uh, lens. So within the state of Indiana, about 21% suffer from mental illness. Now the thing that I'll uh, emphasize with this grant, this grant is for adults and children, it's definitely dealing with mental illness, and it's also dealing uh, with expanding access to primary care screenings and things like that. Um, and so this last slide is just going over a number of the uh, areas that I have emphasized before, just about first year, 150 individuals scaling up to 325 in year two. So we really are excited to get this grant process started. Uh, we've put it in the new employee orientation because we as our one unit team, we want everyone to know about this uh, important, just new exciting project that we've uh, begun with. So if you hear the acronym CCBHC, this is what this is talking about. It's a certified community behavioral health clinic. If you have any uh, questions, again, my name is Art Fuller. Um, look me up in the email, happy to answer them. And again, welcome to Hamlin Center. We're glad you're here and uh, really look forward to uh, connecting with you. Uh, in, in maybe in person one day, who even knows here with COVID-19, but we're gonna stay safe and uh, hunker down. And thank you uh, very much for your time.